As QE continues and accelerates, there is a fear that the assets purchased by central banks might lose value. And if their balance sheets deteriorate, this might impede their ability to perform their functions. In other words, there is a fear that the net worth of many central banks might turn negative. Uh, central banks have a very long time frame, in fact, decades if needed. While one can make a case that the valuation of certain assets purchased is stretched, eventually they should post a profit because of their long time frame. In so far as liquidity is concerned, please remember that central banks can issue unlimited liabilities regardless of net worth. They cannot be illiquid even if they tried. Back in 2015, the S&B took a 41 billion Swiss franc loss or almost 7% of Swiss GDP after abandoning its three-year effort to cap the euro at 120 with the Swiss franc. Its net worth at the time did not impede its central banking obligations. Of course, several months ago, the SMB also reported a 50 billion euro profit, mostly from equities. For those who don't know it, the SMB is one of the largest shareholders in Apple and Amazon. However, the most important reason why their ability to perform as central banks is not impeded by net worth is the following. In the real world, the net financial position is important because everyone has a claim against everyone else, be it a mortgage that someone intends to procure from a bank or weighing counterparty risk when entering into a complicated derivatives transaction. The market needs to know the net position of the counterparty in order to determine whether to extend credit or not. However, this does not apply to central banks because no one has a claim against the central bank. As such, its financial position is irrelevant. Please note the same applies to thousands of companies that also have a negative net position but still operate. The bottom line is that even with a negative net worth position, central banks can still function and perform their duties. This because while in the real world everyone has a claim against everyone else, no one has a claim against the central bank.